Alrighty guys, in today's video with True Cut Already Works, we're going to be looking at how to set your cut order or your process number for shapes and objects within your design. And this will be founded or located on your cut property bar. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise we're back in the program here. Now just a quick reminder this is a mini series on the cut property bar. I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. And uh, this video should be the last one of the series as I think that is everything we need to cover on a cut property bar. Now the process number this will um, in simple terms be what gets cut first so the thing with the lowest number gets cut before the rest so if we had to select a shape we can see here on our cut property bar that the process um, no or number is one and then if we had to click this one you can see over there it is three so now if i had to navigate here next to my um or rather open my show path then over here we can actually see the cutter is going to stop uh, start on the top right here head to a cut it out head to b cut it out head to c so that's number three like we saw then do the title out of box and then it jumps to should i say yeah out of box and then it jumps back to the origin point or the beginning point so now at any time you can change this so let's say you wanted to make C number one. You can just go to the process N of here and then we'll change this to one and now it will automatically change one to another value. So if I press enter, you'll see now it's going to C first, then to um, A, then B. So it has changed A to number two. Sorry, let's grab my selection tool. As you can see, A is now number two and then B is number three. So you can actually customly set so if you wanted to do, let's say, this box first, so we make this one and make the title maybe two, and then you can go to three, make this one. Sorry, I keep going to my text selection, we'll make this one four, and then the last one should be five. Here we go. So now you can see. It's going to cut our box title c b a so yeah that is pretty much how you set the process number it's rather simple especially using your cut property bar otherwise we had to head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find any videos you're looking for all the right videos you can always go here request a training video then we will make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers